Hello, welcome back to my channel and to this self-care, self-love vlog. So basically, the last few weeks have been crazy for all of us and I've personally experienced that every day that I wake up, I feel different and I have learned how to just check in with myself and kind of adjust my day depending on how I'm feeling. The first few weeks especially, I just had a really rough time and it was hard for me to feel really motivated and productive and thankfully this time goes on I have more and more of those days yesterday actually was a great one I woke up and I was like so driven and I got so much work done and it was great but I think it's really important to take this time if you can to really just check in with your body and check what it is that you are needing in the moment and today I woke up and I'm definitely feeling like I need to be a little bit more gentle with myself and like I don't really want to do an intense hit workout, I'd rather do like a yoga class or something. Just that's a very different energy that I'm feeling. So I wanted to take you along today to show you what it looks like when I am trying to just take care of myself and be kind and gentle to myself. And I thought it might be good for you guys to get some ideas as well. If you have days like this where you just need to take it easy, then you can do some of these things to hopefully make yourself feel a little bit better. So the first thing I did today, as soon as I woke up, I journaled in bed and I've honestly never been very consistent with journaling. I've started so many journals that I never finished, but I've decided to stop putting expectations on myself of how often I have to write in a certain journal and just write whenever I feel called to. And this morning I did and it was so nice just to get out some of the things that I've been thinking and feeling down on paper. Next, I took a shower, I brushed my teeth, I moisturized my body, which I do every morning anyway, but especially on days like this, I make sure to take my time and give myself a massage as I go and just take the time to connect with my body and send it love and gratitude. And then I picked out a super comfy outfit. So I've been living in workout clothes, but for today specifically, I really wanted something that was more stretchy and comfortable, and this is one of my favorites, so I'm gonna throw this on and a sweatshirt on top. Next, I took my vitamins, which I do every morning, but especially now, I have a good blend of things that are natural ways to strengthen your immune system. So I have things like elderberry, oil of oregano, echinacea, and this amazing blend of turmeric and ginger. Next, I did my morning skincare routine, which I keep really simple. I just do a rose water spray, a vitamin C serum, and then a moisturizer that has SPF in it. Next, I put on my deodorant, and the deodorant that I've been using for over a year now is by Native, and I love Native so much that I actually reached out to them to see if they wanted to work together, and they said yes, so this video is sponsored by Native Deodorant. I'd been looking for an aluminum-free natural deodorant for years because I'd read so many articles on why aluminum deodorants are really bad for you, and honestly, just go Google it, there's so much information on it, but I was looking for one that worked, and honestly, for years, I tried so many different brands that just weren't really working. When I found Native, I was so excited to find, finally, a natural deodorant that actually worked. If you're switching from an aluminum deodorant, it might take you a couple of days for your body to adjust, or at least that's what happened to me, but after a couple of days, it started working really well, and it's not sticky, it dries quickly, and it smells so good. They actually have such a huge range of scents. I've tried six of them now, and I love them all so much. The three that I just got that I wanted to tell you guys about are the one I use today, the Jasmine and Cherry Blossom, is so good. It smells really like fruity and fresh and I feel like this is perfect for springtime. The other one I got is the Cucumber and Mint and this one is really... It's really clean, it's like the perfect everyday scent. I love this one. And then the other one I got is Coconut and Vanilla. It's definitely very like tropical and sweet. I feel like this is perfect for summer, so I'm gonna save this one to use in a couple of months. The scent lasts a really long time too, even through workouts, which is super impressive. And obviously the best thing about them, I think, is the ingredient list. They are aluminum free, paraben, and sulfate free. And there's so many things on the ingredient list that you can read and actually understand, like coconut oil, shea butter, and tapioca starch. And of course, they're vegan and cruelty free, and I got you guys a discount code, so you can get 33% off your first native deodorant pack and free shipping. I will put the link down below. Just make sure that you use the code Raya, R-A-Y-A. -A. And now that I have my deodorant on, I'm going to do my morning movement. And like I said, some days I want to do an intense HIIT workout and yesterday was a good, good workout for that. But today, honestly, I just want to do a yin yoga class, just like long, deep stretches. Okay, 
so for breakfast, I normally make a green smoothie or like a smoothie bowl or something. And I've actually been having that every day for the past, I don't know, month or more. But today I really wanted something more warming and filling. I'm really hungry. So I'm gonna make some oatmeal and I've just got some um, quick and easy steel cut oatmeal. And then I'm gonna do a quarter of a cup of oatmeal and three quarters of a cup of liquid. So I do half water, half plant milk. Right now I've got this one. It's pea, almond, and cashew milk. It's like really high in protein, which is great. And then I'm gonna do, I often will just do cinnamon, but I just saw that we have pumpkin pie spice, which is a blend of cinnamon ginger cloves and nutmeg and it smells oh my God, so good so good this is gonna be amazing and then I'm gonna put half a banana like mush it up and put it in the oatmeal while it's cooking and then the other half on top and then I'm gonna cut up an apple as well to make it really like hearty and this is definitely more of like a fall flavored oatmeal but I'd love these flavors all year round so yeah, and then on top, I'm gonna put some peanut butter. This is my favorite peanut butter ever. And make sure when you buy peanut butter, you check the ingredients because a lot of peanut butter is full of sugar. But this one is literally just peanuts and has 1% or less of salt. So this is what you want, something that's just peanuts. And then I've got some almonds as well just to put on top. So yeah, let's do it. So this is how creamy it's looking and you wanna make sure that you keep stirring it so it doesn't burn. Um, but if you wanna add a sweetener here, you can add some maple syrup or something. If the banana was ripe enough, then that should be enough sweetener for you. But um, yeah, we're almost ready. And then we're gonna add the apples and leave it on for a couple more minutes just to let them all like cook down and soak up all the yummy flavors. And then we're ready to serve. That is what my heart says. That's what my heart says. I wanna be with you always. Here we go. It smells so good. <laughs> Look who else can smell it. Scout, can you smell the peanut butter? Can you smell it? <laughs> so cute. I'm sorry if you can hear the construction across the street, it's pretty loud, but I've just come up to my room to have my breakfast and I actually normally like to have breakfast on the rooftop, but it just rained and only for like 20 minutes, but now obviously everything's wet on the roof, so hopefully it will dry up and I can go up there a little bit later on today, but I'm gonna have my breakfast in my room and something that I've done, I don't normally, I'm currently sitting at a desk, I don't normally have a desk in my room, um, I actually normally have two in my office and I've brought one into our room for the past couple weeks, which has been so, so good. I definitely separated the spaces where I get all my work done in my office and then I can come here and watch stuff or paint or do a puzzle or I just wanted a space that was away from work so I could just like relax and still have a space on my own and obviously because all my roommates are home all the time like it's it can be loud out there and stuff so just be able to close the door and have my own space has been so so good for me. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit here. And by the way, this smells so good. I haven't done pumpkin spice before, but um, pumpkin pie spice, but seriously, it's unbelievable. So I would very much recommend this. And I'm actually gonna watch some YouTube videos. So I love watching YouTube with my breakfast. And I wanted to ask you guys, when do you like to watch YouTube? I know a lot of people have it like in different parts of their routine, but I, yeah, I just love watching YouTube. And it's cool because a lot of my friends are obviously YouTubers, so I get to catch up with them. And I just saw that Zoe just uploaded a new video. So I'm excited to see what she's been up to. Um, yeah, so I guess this is kind of like watching YouTube slash research for work stuff slash just catching up with my friends. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I am seriously loving all the at-home vlogs right now. I'm loving Estes and Zoe's and there's just so many people that are vlogging and uploading and for some reason, I don't know, those vlogs are just so like cozy to me. So I've been loving watching them and that's also what made me want to vlog for you guys today because I don't normally vlog just around the house. As you know, most of the time that I vlog it's while we're traveling, which we obviously can't do right now. But yeah, if watching this can help you guys feel a little bit more cozy and relaxed and especially that's why I wanted to make my first vlog 
a self-love and self-care vlog so if you guys can get inspired to just show yourself some self-care today then that would make me so so happy one massive way that i've been showing myself self-care and self-love for the first couple weeks especially when i was really really struggling with all this i've been painting a lot and specifically i have been doing paint by numbers so this is where i'm at right now it's taken me a very long time, but I love puzzles in general. I'm obsessed with puzzles and I've been really getting into painting as well. And this is like doing a puzzle while painting. Basically you have all these paints that have different numbers on them. And then there's like tiny little spots with each number. So yeah, you're painting basically according to the number, but it's just so, it's like meditation basically, like you fully just zone in on that and I love to listen to something or watch something while I'm doing it. Um, something that I don't have to like be watching necessarily. So I'll either listen to a podcast or an audiobook or I'm, I love doing online courses as well and I've just started Jane Goodall's one on Masterclass and I love Jane Goodall and I just, I don't know, just hearing her speak is like so relaxing and calm and but yeah, kind of whatever I'm feeling in the moment. Sometimes I want something that's like inspiring and gets me, you know, thinking about work and like driven. But right now all I want is Jane Goodall to tell me more about animals and how I can be better to the environment. So I'm very excited. I'm gonna paint this for a little bit and watch Jane Goodall and I will come back in a little bit. And finally, my poor mother sees this little girl rushing towards the house. If you think about it, there's all the making of a little scientist in that four and a half year old child. The curiosity, asking questions, not getting the right answer, deciding to find out for yourself, making a mistake, not giving up, and learning patience. It was all there, and a different kind of mother might have crushed that scientific curiosity, and I might not have done what I've done. Cause that is what my heart says. That's what my heart says. I wanna be with you always. Always, yeah. You I have to show you this that Jane just said. Got my dream focused. I will grow up. I will go to Africa. I will live with wild animals and I will write books about them. I told everybody and they all laughed at me. Jane, dream about something you can achieve. You can't get to Africa. And anyway, you're just a girl. Going back 70 years when in England girls didn't have those opportunities. Boys could have exciting careers, not girls. We were supposed to be nurses or secretaries or wives and mothers. But not my mother. What my mother said to me is what I say to young people all around the world. If there's something you really want, you're going to have to work really hard and take advantage of opportunity and above all never give up i love her oh, this is making me so happy oh and by the way i can show you all the little numbers so that is what tells you and then all of these are numbered so yeah if you've never done a paint by numbers oh my gosh i would so recommend it it's especially right now it's just such a good way to get your mind off of things and yeah have something beautiful at the end of it this is one of the best masterclasses I've seen. I just love Jane so much and her stories are amazing. But I've just got a message from Louis that he is downstairs doing something exciting. So I'm gonna go check it out, basically. Okay, let me show you. So, basically we have this little front area. Hello. Hi. That we haven't known what to do with for ages. Um, we have the couch here and we actually had a seating area here but no one ever used it so we ended up giving it away. But one thing that I've always wanted is a little garden to at the very least grow herbs, but ideally like veggies, that would be the dream. So, Louis making me some of these, which we originally got for the rooftop, but they didn't really work up there. So yeah, they look amazing. We have one more I'm completing. These mm -hmm. two I'm actually fixing because the bottoms broke out, but it's because they were really badly designed. So I put extra screws in. Mm -hmm. This one's strong now, I can actually stand in it. Wow. Okay. So the other ones were like falling through when there was too much moisture, but I think yeah. this is a good strength test. Yeah. I'm not going to jump in it because it'll probably break. <laughs> and then we've got this from the roof. And we actually found a worm in here, which is a sign of a good healthy soil. So that's exciting. So yeah, I'm going to plant some things out here. I'm so excited. Scout. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> well, I wasn't really planning on having a whole plant section in the vlog, but Louis has definitely inspired me to do something that I've been meaning to do for a long time, and that is I want to learn how to propagate plants. I think that's how you say it. Propagate? 
propagate. <laughs> so basically what that means is taking one plant and growing a new plant out of that plant. So with these hanging ones, for example, um, I'm gonna look up, look it up, but you cut, uh, I think, I'm gonna look up how much exactly and tell you guys, but um, basically you cut a part of it and then you grab something like a jar. These are old kombucha bottles. Louie loves kombucha, so we have a lot of these. And you fill it with water and you plant it and then you wait to see the roots start growing and then you plant it in soil. And some of these have, are like too long actually, we kind of tuck them behind the couch. So it's perfect that we can cut them and grow new plants out of it. And then this one is really big and is actually like two different plants growing. So I just looked it up that you can separate these and grow two separate plants out of it. And then I also have some other ones that have just outgrown their pots. So I need to like replant them and stuff. So yeah, let's have a fun little plant day. Okay, so I've filled up the bottles with water and I looked it up and you need to have at least four to five inches. So you can see how long this is. So I'm actually gonna cut mine even longer than that. But the most important thing is that you cut like right under a leaf. So is that where I'm cutting? Yeah, you want at least three of these. Um, I forgot what the word for these are, but that, like where the leaf breaks out. So you want at least three. And then the top two, you're gonna wanna take the leaf off because when you put it in the water, you don't want um, the leaves to be in the water. So make sure you like count those out before you cut basically. But I think that's good. And then it says to cut on an angle. All right. So then I'm gonna take the bottom two leaves off. I'm gonna cut those as well. Okay, and then you just put it in water. And you wait. Apparently it can take um, a couple weeks, but you will, that's the beauty of putting it in glass bottles so that you can see the roots growing. And you wanna wait until the roots are about two inches long to plant them in soil. This is what I've learned from my research, so if I'm doing it wrong, please let me know. But yeah, all right, let me do another one. So I wish I thought about this kombucha bottle thing earlier because we must have recycled like hundreds of bottles at this point. Louis is obsessed with kombucha, but as soon as he buys new ones, I'm gonna save up more and I would love to like fill a whole windowsill with these. I think they'll look so cute. And yeah, now we're gonna have so many plants for free, which is great because these are like $30 each, so amazing. So this is where things get a little bit more difficult. So I've got these plants that come in um, like these small things inside, but this is actually completely outgrown. Look at how many roots are growing. So it definitely needs a new bigger home. So I've got that one and this one as well, which isn't doing that root thing yet, but it's, it's starting to get there. So I'm gonna move these. And for that first one, so the problem with this pot is that there's no hole on the bottom. So um, I can't just move it straight into that because I just looked into it and apparently it's really hard to keep plants alive. So this one has a hole in the bottom, so I'm gonna move into this one. And then I need to order whatever the things are called that like hold the water underneath. For now, I'll just put it on a plate, but I will order more of those. So, this should put some soil on the bottom. And it's a smile on your face. ones and I'm gonna save these for when the ones that I just put into the kombucha bottle start properly growing roots then I can put them in here like hand-me-downs and now the toughest one so this one like I said it has like two completely different plants growing so apparently it's pretty easy to separate the roots and then grow them as like two separate plants I'm kind of nervous but let's see, let's see what we can do. By the way, do not watch this as a tutorial. I have no idea what I'm doing. This is my first time. Um, I will link the video that I'm watching of this tutorial down below and it has like a ton of different plants so you can see exactly with 
like each plant there's very different things you need to do so I'm gonna try to do what the woman does with this one Wow so look you can definitely see that it's trying to outgrow its pot there's so many roots okay so how can I separate oh yeah they're definitely very separate stems growing the only thing is that their roots are entangled around each other so in the video she actually cuts some because there's two entangled so she said as long as you know that there's enough roots for each one then you can actually cut them I think I'm finally getting it okay wow look two completely different plants with their own roots Wow, so crazy. Okay, let's do this one at a time. And then last, I've got this plant, which we thought was dead for ages, and it is dead pretty much everywhere, except there's a couple of little guys that are actually surviving. So I think if I um, dig out all the dead bits and compost them and then see if I can take the little ones, maybe even put it in like small pots and just try to regrow it from there, see if that works. Without your love, Time for a midday dance break. We are not gonna be able to include this music because it's gonna get copyrighted, so I'm gonna put other music on top. But if you're feeling low at all today, take a moment, have a dance, you'll feel so much better. Okay, you ready? Hey guys, I'm just quickly editing this video and I realized I have almost an hour of like actual good usable footage and I don't really want to upload an hour long vlog so I've decided to split it up in half so this is the first part of the video and then make sure that you're subscribed and you have your notifications turned on to hear about when the next one comes out probably in a couple days um, but yeah stay tuned for the next part because I'm just I don't know I really love this vlog it's just so like real and this is what we've been up to and hopefully it will just bring a smile to your face. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Mwah. Bye!